Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Manchester worker stung hundreds of times by bees. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Kristen Carosa. Toyota Center Discount is in full swing right now. To attract all the right attention, come in and test drive the 2018 Toyota Corona LE. Come in and test drive the all-new, powerful, and attractive 2018 Toyota RAV4 all-wheel drive. For the latest inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles, go to HerbertToyota.com. Lease offers and 730 Mike, right now, as you can see, B Street remains closed off at this hour because this is still a dangerous area. Right now, a pest control company is here working to eliminate the bees in this area by spraying a poison. Fire officials do tell us this happened around 10 this morning. A city crew from the Parks and Recreation Department were here on Beach Street working to cut down a tree that had been damaged during recent storms. A worker in a bucket truck cut into a tree, disturbing a beehive that had thousands of bees inside, and he was instantly attacked. He immediately got stuck by hundreds of bees. He was stuck in a bucket. A neighbor came over and assisted the gentleman out of the bucket. He was strapped into the bucket at the time, so he couldn't get himself out of the bucket. Now, we are told several neighbors came out to help. They were stung as well. Right now, there is a total of six patients, including that city worker. Right now, part of the tree has been removed and has been buried in a landfill. The pest control company is continuing to spray the remainder of the bees in this area, and Beach Street will remain closed off until that process is complete. We're live in Manchester this noon. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Hundreds pay respect to fallen Weymouth Sergeant. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. Want a shower that's both... Want a shower that's both beautiful and easy to clean? Call Oasis Shower Doors. Our protective glass coatings reduce cleaning time by up to 90%. All custom made and installed with the highest quality components. Get easy online estimates at oasisshowerdoors.com. An extremely moving day all day long as thousands filed into St. Mary's Church here in Hanover to pay their respects to Sergeant Michael Chesna and his family. The thin blue line never more apparent than in unfortunate occasions such as these as thousands of law enforcement officers, family and friends filed past Sergeant Chesna's cruiser now draped in black bunning in front of the church. The Chesna family arrived an hour before his wake began at 2. The 42-year-old has a young family, and there, this is no doubt just the absolute worst time of their lives for his wife and his young children. Thousands of police officers are here from all over the region and beyond. In fact, we're told officers traveled from as far away as Texas and California to be here to support this family and this community. Governor Baker was here. Patriots owner Bob Kraft just walked in earlier, and dozens from the fam from the community rather are also here. Few knew this officer, but one woman told me she just had to be here. He's too old to die, and his poor children are going to know him, no dad. And uh, yes, to go to work and not come home. Yeah, shouldn't have happened. 
Sergeant Chesno was also a decorated Army veteran. He served two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan and earned a Purple Heart. This wait concludes at 8 p.m. this evening in Hanover. We're live in Hanover, Julie Lonshack, WCVB News Center 5. Our coverage of Sergeant Chesno's life and legacy will continue throughout the evening right here on News Center 5. If you would like to make a donation to benefit the family, an account has been set up at Equitable Bank. What you have to do is make a check payable to the Officer Michael Chesno Family Fund. Mail it or drop it off at the Weymouth Police Station. The address for the Weymouth Police Station is 140 Winter Street. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Class action lawsuit filed against Central Maine Power. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8 Maine. up and smell the coffee because people are not going to put up with that, especially in Maine. Judy Hopkins and Christopher Hyde live on this farm in Pownall. They were surprised when they opened up a CMP bill in January to the tune of $386. We have solar, so our bill in the summer is very low, but in the winter, I think the highest bill we ever had was like $170, right? They said they tried to work with CMP to straighten things out, but got fed up with what they call bad customer service and no accountability. They learned they weren't alone. People are really coming together and saying, you know, this is wrong. Hopkins says it was a grassroots effort that started with the Facebook group CMP Ratepayers Unite. A lot of support for each other and you know, just amazing things that are happening to these people that just breaks my heart. Because, you know, we, we had minor compared to them. The couple joined many others and signed on to a class action lawsuit against the utility company claiming CMP overcharged them. Today, CMP is releasing a statement saying, we value our customers and are committed to fair and accurate metering and billing. CMP has not seen a copy of the reference complaint and therefore cannot comment on the matter at this point. The lawsuit will be filed tomorrow at the Cumberland County Superior Court at one in the afternoon. In Portland, Lauren Bradley, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Thursday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the red, it went down. Your Dow Stack closed in the red, it went down. S&P 500 closed in the red, it went down. CNBC IQ 100 closed in the red and went down, gold closed in the red and went down, oil closed in the green and went up, U.S. 10-year closed in the red and went down, euro slash USD closed in the green and went up, and VIX closed in the green and went up. Dow falls more than 100 points after banks slide. Trump knocks Fed. Stocks fell on Thursday aimed criticism of the Federal Reserve's by President Donald Trump. A decline in bank shares also pushed the border market down. White House says Trump now disagrees with Putin proposal to question former U.S. Ambassador. After a political backlash, 
from Republicans and as well as Democrats. The White House said Thursday Donald Trump now disagrees with Russian President Putin's proposal that Russian investigators be allowed to question Americans, including a former U.S. ambassador to Moscow. Putin had proposed the idea in exchange for allowing special counsel Robert Mueller's team to go to Russia to witness interrogations of 12 Russian military officers indicted in the U.S., what Trump then called an incredible offer. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. And I'll see you back here later on this evening for a news report. Good night, everyone. Bye.